We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. Emerge! Right now! Give up! Let the show begin! No. Hey, look! Vines! You should be able to climb up, right? Hold on, I think they... Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these Hilly Churls? As I said, for these Hilly Churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years ago too? To this day, I still remember the final orders I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria. 
before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These Black Serpent Knights have lost their intellect, but perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh. So, Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Tell me that's everything. I'm just thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. Hi, 
Paimon's never seen such well-behaved Hillary Cheerios before. Paimon wonders if it has anything to do with being an old soul. must be part of the entire city structure, a relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before, and I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely? Consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Ah! Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? True. So, uh, we going then? Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. There are more signs of hilly 
cultural activity here. I'll protect us. Trails look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Hafton wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more, and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, Signifying the tenderness of the homeland. <gasps> so for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission, the revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. 
Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And... you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. It is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Oh? <laughs> but of course. I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I see. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. <laughs> 